It's a love letter to the relationships that can come from playing games together. And as funny as it sounds, the truth of the things you kind of learn about life and even about yourself through games. The only thing that's wrong with games is that they're better than life. I told that to my wife. How did that go down? kind of done songs about video games already in the past and little bits of other shows and stuff to do with video games but then we we're like what if it's about us and video games sorry stop sorry 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 what are you doing what, what are you doing this is when we're acting this. really the only name that popped into my head uh, was Austin I mean he's the perfect choice for for someone who understands not only the full orchestral palette and, and I guess the, the power that the symphony can bring, but also understands gaming. I mean, he's a massive gamer himself and uh, he understands all of those worlds. I mean, I'm hearing laughs in the midst of full orchestral fury, yeah. so it's obviously getting through. What I really love about this show is that we've worked an awful lot on really bringing the two elements together. So there's lots of times when Tripod are talking with the orchestra, they're talking back. They've even got a few lines, you know, during some of the songs. And, and that sort of stuff is a lot of fun. Sorry, Rob, can we stop, mate? Sorry, am I allowed to talk straight to Rob? We, we just, we uh, hit it well off. Well, you did, so what's the matter? Um... There are a lot of comedy songwriters in the world that are basically okay songwriters musically and clever lyricists. So it's like, Simple chords that don't matter, but with witty lyrics on top, and that's what comprises the majority of what I would call comedy songwriting. And the other thing that immediately jumped out was that that was not the case here, that these were real musicians who write real music that actually takes unexpected twists and turns. I make her look like her in a cosplay way. Right from the beginning, we structured these songs to be harmonically adventurous and structurally adventurous and tell a story, but with the kind of sweep and texture that, that an orchestra can live up to. Orchestral music is um, in so much of our lives in, in you know, movies, TV shows and you know, all video games. Sometimes people forget that you know, that sort of sound, that sort of power requires you know, 60, 70, 80 people mm. um, all working together to bring that whole thing out there. And so it's quite a spectacle and it's, it's quite emotional for um, people to sort of hear something that they um, haven't heard before on a topic that they really love. And you bring all of that together and it can be quite overwhelming. I'm hoping our, our love for, for, for the medium feels authentic to people even if they don't necessarily share that love or if that love for them is directed somewhere else into cars or, you know, porcelain dolls or whatever. But I hope for other people they go, I've never heard anything like this before. Yeah. Because it's just this nuts combination. <laughs> it's you know? nuts. Remember when